Hey, what's up guys? Hope you guys are doing all right. So, I got some more stuff from Essence. The sale's almost over, I'm just milking it. I already did a video where I unboxed some pickups from Essence. So if you haven't seen that, make sure to check that out. I'll link it down in the description. Please watch it. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. So, starting us off, we have this gray sweater from Raf Simmons. This is from his Autumn Winter 2019 collection, and it's a really great, really beautiful gray sweater. It's just your average gray sweater, nothing too special about it, so I'm not gonna get too into it. On the front, on the shoulders, you can see there are these two patches from the movie Blue Velvet by David Lynch. I've yet to see the movie, I've heard from a lot of people that's a really good movie, really funny movie, so I'm definitely gonna have to check it out sometime in the future. It's a beautiful knit, the wool is extremely soft, and it's just overall a great piece. This was 60% off, so I managed to cop this for a whopping $300, which is an absolute steal. Very happy with this, and overall, it's a great addition to my Raph Simmons collection. So, here's how it looks on body. Pretty simple fit, I just styled it with some plain old black jeans. Nothing too crazy, just wanted to show how the sweater fits. It fits pretty true to size, I got this in a size medium, and it fits me beautifully. So, next up, we have this shirt from Rick Owens Dark Shadow. This is the metallic back cotton shirt, and it's a really cool and very interesting looking shirt. This shirt is made from a variety of different cottons. On the front, you have this normal cotton, just your typical like shirt material. And on the back, it's a bit more, a bit more flimsy, a lot thinner. It almost feels like a raincoat, plasticky material, even though it's cotton. On the sides, you have this really thick cotton material. The sleeves are extremely sturdy, extremely rigid. The shirt is very, very long. I got some size small, however it fits huge and is very oversized. I often find that Rick proportions are just really wonky and all, all over the place when it comes to his pieces. I got this for I think $300, which isn't too bad, but nevertheless, it would be an interesting piece to pull off and yeah, can't wait to see what I can do with this. So here's how it looks on body, out here looking like a Japanese servant. Anyways, it's uh, as you can see it's a pretty cool layering piece and I know the back's a little scrunched but whatever, please forgive me. It's pretty interesting. I can totally see myself wearing this over like a t-shirt or something. Something simple. Next up, we have this belt by De Hagri. I don't really know, I, I might be butchering that. Sorry to all the French people watching. It's a pretty interesting belt with these rivets on the side. You can attach this pocket onto it, which gives you a little bit more storage. The pocket's a lot smaller than I thought. I thought it would be a lot bigger. You can't really fit much in here. You could probably put like a few AirPods or like your phone maybe or your wallet. But anyways, it's quite cool with the fact that you get a little bit extra storage. And it's interesting. I haven't really seen anything like this. You probably wear this on, we probably just wear this like a normal belt and have this hang on the side. It's a really simple accessory and it looks really elegant. So I'm very happy with this pickup. So this is on sale, this is on a pretty good discount. I got this for around 200 bucks. And the leather quality is actually really, really good and it feels amazing. So overall, very happy with this. So here's how it looks on body. As you can see, you know, giving off some mad cowboy vibes. So as you can see my phone somewhat fits inside. Also, my AirPods, you know, Subtle Flex, I got the Pros. They also fit, they fit perfectly actually inside the pocket. I mean, I don't know what to say. It's a belt with a fucking pocket on it. It's cool. Thank you for sticking to the end of the video. If you like this video, make sure to like it, comment, subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Instagram as well. I'll have a link in the description. So yeah, see you guys next time.